Hey everyone! Uh, today I am coming at you with another demo and review video. This time it's going to be on the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. So I am going to be doing a look, um, showing swatches, etc, etc. So let's get started. So first things first, here is the unicarton that it comes in. Greek Goddess. Um, beautiful. And I don't know if anybody knows me as a person, but um, I'm kind of obsessed with all things Greek mythology. Um, I have a Calypso cat and an Andromeda. I know technically Andromeda is not a goddess, but she's still part of Greek mythology. These are my little goddesses. We have Calypso over here. I've had her for about four years. And then this is little baby Andromeda. Oh, she's about five months old. So these are my little goddesses. <laughs> Anyways, and then I have the name Persephone saved for a future animal baby or a real baby. But anyways, <laughs> just look at that. Like, wow. I 100% bought this palette just because of the packaging. Like, inside is really pretty too. But inside, when I saw it online or in the re reveal video, I was like, oh, that's cute. Like, I have a bunch of those shades, but I'm going to buy it because of this. But then later on in the video, you'll see how these shades are more unique than they look. So this Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess palette retails for $48. And then I paid $6.50 for shipping. So in total, it was $54.50. And I'm quickly just going to check and see if the palette is even still available. Because I know it was a holiday palette, so it's limited edition, he said. Okay, so it looks like it's still in stock on LunarBeauty.com. The Greek Goddess Color Palette is still in stock. So, if you do end up wanting to purchase this, it is still available as of right now on uh, December 15th at noon. <laughs> so, let's see. I was going to say something. What was it? This is my uh, first purchase from Lunar Beauty, which is the brand owned by Manny MUA, if you were unaware. <laughs> but this, so this is my first, first purchase from them. And I gotta tell you, they have made a good first impression on me because, spoiler alert, look at these eyes, man. Like, those are good palette, okay? <laughs> But anyways, um, I did already, this is not a first impressions because I did use this palette yesterday. I couldn't wait to do a look. Um, I used like the brown, the brown tones and then this blue glitter. So I didn't, yeah, so this isn't a first impressions. This will be my second look. So it's more of like an overall review. That way I could use more of the shades. I'll go ahead and show you the swatches on my arm just to give you an idea of what the colors look like but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this second look as you can see on my eyes so I hope you enjoy all right so like I said this isn't my first look I'm doing with the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess palette um, I will insert a picture here of a look I did yesterday which was using like the browns and the blue so now I want to use like the more pinky maroon sort of shades today for my look. So to start with, I am going to take, I think, let's start with Cleo. And I'm going to use just my BH Cosmetics Marble Blending Brush. Primed my eyelids just using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then just a white eyeshadow that I had in one of my other palettes because this, I used this uh, color yesterday to set my eyelids but it made my whole eye turn really like yellow toned so it's a lot darker once you put it on your eyelid if you're pale like me. Alright, so, so far so good. Cleo is just a nice light pale pink transition shade that just needs a little bit of building up and it blends out really easily. So, oh, I forgot to mention 
So the shades that I used for my look yesterday, the blue one, I used Hestia, Harmona, Persephone, Rhea, and then a little bit of Calliope. This one is like really pigmented. And then Nemesis. So I used those, so now I'm gonna try and use the rest of them today, or most of them. I'm probably not gonna be able to use all of them, but so far all the shades that I've used are really nice. They blend really good. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Aphrodite. One thing I do have to say is these do have quite a bit of uh, kick up when you dip in with your brush, but I don't really care about that. Just, you'll have to blow it off a lot. Aphrodite is blending out good as well. I'm just gonna take the brush I used before uh, with Cleo and just dip in a little bit and then just go right over the edge again to bring back a little bit more of that color and blend it out. I'm just gonna go use Calliope again. And then just put it right on top over it. I really do like this color because it's not quite black. It's just like a really, really dark brown. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back in with a little more Aphrodite. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in with Calypso and I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm just going to kind of pat that right here on the edge for that darker color. back in with Calliope and just tap a little more over there and blend those two together. Alright, now I'm going to use my finger again and this time I'm going to use the shade Iris to put on the rest of my lid. shimmery color like this. At first glance when I saw this palette when Manny announced the launch, from first glance it just looks like, oh you know, like they're pretty but I think I have like all of those shades already. Do I really want to buy it? But now, especially since I have it in person, like a lot of these shades are really unique and ones that I don't have in my collection, so I'm really glad that I purchased it. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone with Athena. Yeah, this color is really pretty. Right, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. I'm probably gonna do some sort of liner and then finish the rest of my face, and then I will come back and just do the lower lash line. And yeah, so I will be right back. All right, so here's my full face of makeup done. I went ahead and just finished the eyes anyways while I was doing my makeup, because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I just used the Calliope, Aphrodite, and Cleo shades, just under my lash line, nice and blended out. All right, so with my two looks I've done so far with this palette, I've used 11 of the shades. So the only ones I haven't used yet are Celine, um, Hera, Circe, 
and there's one more. Oh yeah, Artemis. So those are the only ones I haven't used yet, but so I'm sure they're the same formula as the rest of the palette, and I've used the rest of the palette, so I can attest that this formula is really great. Everything blends out really easily. Everything is really pigmented. The shimmers are really beautiful. Um, these glitters, although you need a glitter glue, once you use them that way, they do look really stunning on the eyes. And then the packaging. A++. So overall, I would say this palette is what? Like a... Like a 9 out of 10? I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 because, I mean... It is really, really good, though. I do really love this palette. I'm really glad I bought it. So, um, I hope you found this uh, demo review video helpful or you just enjoyed watching it. Um, thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.